For Sudan, it was already the twilight of his line when we met at this Kenyan reserve. Guarded night and day from poachers, he was a gentle giant to the end. To get this close is awe-inspiring, but it is also beyond heartbreaking to think that he might be the last of his line. But unlike so many rhino, it is old age that Sudan has succumbed to. Unable to stand, his carers took the painful decision to end his life. He was, um, from an old Pejita Conservancy perspective, probably, you know, he was our family pet. So to lose him is definitely a blow, and it's very sad for old Pejita, but also for the rest of the world. But where traditional conservation has failed, science offers a lifeline. A test tube rhino is the aim, an embryo created from eggs harvested from the two remaining females. If Sudan's species is to have a future, it depends now on surrogacy, taking that embryo and implanting it in a close cousin, the southern white rhino. It is a technique practiced, but by no means perfected. If that fails, then stem cell technology and genetic research might provide an answer. Though for many, that's a future they reject. There is so much more to conserving a species than just having a few little cells in a, uh, a petri dish or the potential for it to be a rhino. We want to conserve the whole environment. We want to conserve the rhino and everything else that is in there. Sudan and the northern white is by no means the only rhino facing oblivion nor the only species we might one day have to bring back from the dead. John Ray, ITV News.